To Aurora, where more events are planned this weekend to honor the lives of the people killed in the movie theater shootings 11 years ago this week. 12 people, including a pregnant woman, were killed in those shootings. Countless other lives were changed forever. Tonight, our Michael Abeda, a member of the Aurora community, shows us how one survivor hopes to help others this weekend. 11 years ago, Zach Goldrich was shot in one of Colorado's worst mass shootings. Now he's giving back to the community he loves. I also know what it's like to be on the other side of the 911 phone call, you know, to be afraid and uncertain. South Metro firefighter Zach Goldich has led an eventful life. He was shot in the Aurora Theater shooting in 2012. Since then, we've followed his journey and football career from Aurora Public Schools to Colorado State University and the NFL. But now, in his post-playing days, he's decided he wants to help people the way first responders helped him when he needed someone the most. He says being a firefighter is the perfect fit for all of his life's experiences. All the teamwork, the preparation, um, the hard work, and you know, the physicalness of it, and it really seems to mesh really well. And that's not the only way he's giving back. He's organized the Hero's Journey 5K, a run that will be held Saturday morning to raise money for a scholarship bearing his name. It started last year on the 10th anniversary of the shooting. And we thought that a 5K was going to be a great way to involve the community um, and give it, uh, get everyone up and moving um, in a way just to kind of celebrate how far we've come as the city of Aurora. And even though it was a lot of work, he says it was important for him to bring it back this year for the community. I still see support year after year after year. And for us to put together this event to kind of celebrate the people who have supported us, the heroes that helped us, um, and those who have overcome the adversity and now are the heroes to other people who battle adversity, um, I think it's 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 heroic for everybody. They'll be accepting registrations up until race time on Saturday morning. Or if you don't feel like you're in shape for 3.1 miles, you can always just make a donation. In Aurora, Michael Aveta covering Colorado first. All right, Michael, thank you very much. So much pain after all these years. Michael lives in Aurora and wants to share the stories of those making an impact there. You can send him your story ideas by calling 303-863-TIPS or you can send us those ideas through CBSColorado.com. Now, coming up.